That was a really bad mission, but not all is lost. Um, at least we still have some soldiers we need. Deborah is back. Out for two weeks, though. Ugh. Um. Hmm. Got six, seven, eight soldiers. I can count, I swear. Uh, six Aquanauts, then. I believe. No, I could be wrong. And... Is that all we needed? I feel like we're missing something. Um, this mental sub pen. What's the, um, hmm. how, how, how much does it cost to keep that? Just the, just a sub pen. That's total. Um, I guess that'll tell me. 25 grand for maintenance. That's actually not that much at all. I, I'm going to keep it around so that way when I decide to make a, uh, a new sub, Hopefully I get to make the, the next generation of subs. Um, I'll have a sub pen for that because you need, I believe you need a sub pen ahead of time before you start making it just so you have somewhere to put it when it is done. General source is done here, so we should build a, uh, we could do a wider race on or spend a lot of our money, 15 grand maintenance, 25 days, or I think we're currently researching the new one, aren't we? No, we're not. Uh, transmission resolver would be really nice to research. Um, let's cut this down a, a decent bit. We don't need that many scientists on it. It is something that you can research relatively early on. And let's get some more people up on that transmission resolver. Try to get that done, because that'll, that'll really help me out, so I know if I'm going into a lobster mission or not. And, 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 and. Manufacturing armor? Yes, we are. We have technicians allotted, but we don't have much rig space for now. Okay, let's keep it at that. The other base is going to be done here in just a moment. Yep. Yep. Okay. This base already has a sonar, so I may as well just keep it. I do need a um, general stores. And I think that'll be it for here. Maybe a workshop? Just to make stuff? I think that might be a good idea. 800,000 though. Ugh. Not now. Not now. When I get my finances in order, I'll do that and I'll have a manufacturing area in all places so I can make armor and weapons and subs at the same time. There's a medium heading west. I don't know if I'm gonna fight it, like, with Aquanauts or not, but, um, would be nice if we could catch it for one. There we are. I think I'm just gonna shoot it down uh, and ignore it. Because if it's another, like, 11 crabs, I, I don't really want to do it. Not with these guys. There we go. And I think I'll just let it sit for now. Um, well, you know what? I suppose. How many people we got on the sub? We got, we got a few. I suppose we can always pop in and take a peek and see what it is. If it's lobster, man, I'm going to take off, though. Um, only have eight spaces used, so we only need eight of those. Oh, I really need thermal shock bombs. Take those off for now. Bring that down to eight. Medikits, we have those on. suppose I can get rid of uh, gauze. Yeah, I can get rid of gauze. I think we're okay without it. Goodbye, gauze. And hello, money. Mm. And medikits. I think I got a lot of extra medikits, don't I? I thought I was making those to, uh, to sell. Maybe not. Where are you? Oh, medikits. Do I not have any? I guess I don't have any. Okay. Um, armor. Who gets armor? Um, I, hold on. Nope. Wrong menu. Oh, hold on. Aquanauts. Who do we got here? 
61, 60, 50, 72 for Sylvie. Okay, so Sylvia and Carlos then. We'll get the good armor. They are the most accurate, and that is what I care about the most right now. Carlos and Sylvie get magnetic. Tom Morris, you can finally have plastic aqua armor. He's been on like four missions now without any armor at all. Uh, oh well. And wait until day and go at it. Just take a peek. If it's lobster man, I'm heading out. Uh, if it's Tassoth's, um, I think I can kill Tassoth's in one hit. And that's really the big issue I've got right now is lobster men, where if I shoot them, they it can be a direct hit and it won't die. So it can turn around, reaction fire me, uh, pretty much guarantee to kill one of my guys every time I shoot at it. Give it a fast save here. Take a peek. What do we got? Uh, I think we're in a corner. No, we're not. Hello? Nothing. Okay, now we're in a corner. And... I don't know what it is. Shoot at it. Uh, that looks like a lobster man, kind of. We'll find out. A grenade will kill just about anything. I think that made it. Nice throw. Yeah, that's definitely a lobster man. Don't shoot me. I'm sorry. If a grenade landing, why would you try to climb up the sub? Can you even do that normally? Honestly, I've never tried. Now I'm curious. God, you are awful at aiming. Even though you're my most accurate, you're awful at it. Okay, no, you just automatically try to fly. Alright, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe the front of the tram would be a ramp so you can get on top. And yes, yes, it is Lobster Man. Har har, I, I see you, you bastard thing. Everybody in, and let's take off. I'm not dealing with Lobster Man. No, no, no. Yeah, poor rating, whatever. And, uh, promotions? Um, <laughs> cool. I didn't realize you could get promotions for doing absolutely nothing in a mission. I guess it, uh, just took a mission for it to realize, hey, there's no current lieutenants or anything. Uh, still... Nice, Amanda Bell. Um, we still have a, a lot of people without names, so if anybody out there wants a soldier, uh, let me know, and let me know if there's anything in particular you're looking for in a soldier. Like, if you want somebody who's ranked up, or specifically want a rookie, uh, stuff like that. No, what am I doing? There we are. Stuff like that, any particular stats you're looking for, any particular rank you're looking for, let me know, otherwise I'll just give you, uh, one of our top ranking or most accurate soldiers. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like we are out of medkits. But I do need soldiers, as I've said before, uh, I cannot guarantee your survival, you will most likely die. I'll try to prevent it from happening, but shit happens. And um, if you die uh, waiting a month before I give anybody a new soldier, um, an example, Horse CM, has, he is now going to be on his third soldier, because uh, he requested to have uh, clones and all that. Um, I'm just going to assume everybody wants clones, really. Wait, what? Oh, something... Okay. I don't know what that was. I actually wasn't paying attention. Um, eh, it's bad. Heading northeast, right by our base. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck, it's at night. It's, it's 
stay. Stay there. Fuck, it left. Damn it. A very large landing. Oh my god, the spoils. That would be so awesome to have. Oh well. And what are you? ZR bite, nice. Disruptor pulse, yes, yes, yes. Uh, really looking to make new subs though. Um, first and foremost, if possible, eh, I'll do the disruptor pulse hunter though. Absolutely. Maybe I need to have all the sonic stuff done. I don't know. I need to do that anyway, so I can do the uh, new weapons and stuff. Ah, fantastic. Alien subconstruction. Thank you. I thought maybe that's what I needed. Research that. Nice. Things are looking good. Transmission resolver can now be built. It's just expensive as fuck. Uh, you know what? Let's go for it, though. And then I'll be able to dismantle this stuff when it's done. Should have a terror mission of some sort coming up. Magnetic ion armor completed, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I just want you guys to do a ton of medikits. 28,000 each. That's fine. I can do like 15 then. Just do like 100 or something. Some obscene number, and I'll just sell them all. Fantastic profit with those. Spall, heading east. I don't know what's on it, I don't know what it's doing. That's what the transmission resolver will tell us, and it landed. So let's go get it and find out. Let's equip armor first. Faces. Uh, a bunch of no-names getting magnetic iron armor. I feel weird doing that, but... We have a full set, pretty much. Some people are still in uh, aqua armor, but... Oh well. There we go. At least everyone's armored! Eh. And I did go through... There, more medikits. Uh, looks good. Down. Ha! There we go. And extra grenades for everybody, because grenades are awesome. I use grenades all the time. And then you just stay there in case it has sets to take off. What was it again? It was just a small, right? Yeah. You know. Nothing too major, but hopefully it's not Lobster Men and I can take it out and get an easy 200 points with no deaths. Everybody should be pretty well equipped. Everybody takes off uh, into the air at least one square, so then that way we get a little better view and explosives no longer harm us. Because explosions do not um, affect multiple planes. So when they throw it at us, unless the guy just catches it in midair. Wow, good shot. It is lobster men, though. So well, let's see if we can take out this guy real quick and abandon again. Whoops. Well, that's kind of... I wanted you may as well take a kneeling snapshot. Arr! I took him out. Actually, you know what? It's only small. I don't know. Should I go for it? I'm thinking I'm gonna go for it anyway. Fuck it. Fuck it. We got a lot of rookies. We gotta train them up. And there's only a couple good ways to do that. One of them is facing your fear and fighting the most annoying enemy in the game. At least it's not tentaculates, I'll just tell myself that. A medium sub full of tentaculates. Oh my god, your reaction speed, who are you? Thirty, your reactions are thirty and that's twice you've shot at an alien. My. God, Lewis, lay off the caffeine, buddy. Urgh. Knocked him out. Wow. Jeez. 
I think his stats are lying. I think he's better than the game says. It's like 3 for 3 with shots. 2 for 2 with reactions. That's all the rookies. Go rookie squad. Very well armed rookie squad. FYI, as far as my plans go, this is just about uh, end game as far as equipment goes. I just want to do the disruptor pulse stuff. Those are those home end rockets. Uh, that and more thermal shock stuff. So I can easily take out just about any alien type. Because tentaculates and lobster men are very much weak to the stun from the thermal lock shock launcher. And everything else uh, incinerates quite nicely with the mini nuclear blast that is the disruptor pulse launcher. I will, of course, also have the melee weapon at some point because apparently it's a, a static six time unit. Somebody told me something like that. Uh, typically, stuff's percentage based. So I'm kind of surprised that it's just six time units no matter what. Uh, if that is correct, let me know. Perhaps I misread it or something. Because that'd be really nice to have a high-ranking person with like 80 time units being able to do like... <laughs> like 8 sun attempts on an alien. It's awesome. I do know that it's very strong though and it should take out Lobster Men in like one hit, maybe two. Everything else in one. So that would be a definitely a nice sidearm to have for the close counters combat. But I would like everybody to have the Sonic Cannon and a uh, Disruptor Pulse Launcher as far as just typical equipment goes, and everybody else will have thermal shock launchers and melee guns. So, that's that's the plan. Way over his head. Can you land? Yes, that should protect you. Uh, I forgot where he was. Hit him. Didn't kill him. I really don't think you have a line of fire at him. I'll move you up a bit. Oh fuck, where was it? There you go. I moved her up one more floor for the angle. Luckily it paid off. Uh, at this two shots, he should only have like one hit left he goes down I would I would imagine usually it's just two shots and they're dead there we go here comes a third nice I thought they hit the rock but nice good job Bill and Stonehill and Lewis heading south it's very nice being able to fly you can just fly over all the rocks and get a nice view on everything did flash the sub there I think well, I'm almost certain there is one more in the sub. Uh, there's usually at least four, in my experience, on veteran. Um, head over. This guy is unconscious. Let's let's disarm him. There we go. We fly up now. Lobster men cannot hit us because. Well, him, anyway, because their melee attack is melee, and lobsters cannot fly, thankfully. Uh, ugh. Heavily armored unit that has a melee attack that can fly. Ugh. Sounds horrible. No, okay, I keep forgetting to have you fly. Just... F fly, fly, there's rocks above you. There we go. There. Now you're in the air. I, see, I keep selecting you, forgetting you're the one that's standing. I keep meaning to have you fly up, but... Oops. Bill needs to go still. This 
This is the teeny tiny uh, sub. I believe the lobster man is just going in and out those front doors there. Which is which is okay, I suppose. I just don't like the close quarters combat. Uh, the front is the heaviest part of the armor though, so hopefully if I'm on the same levels as them, looking at them, uh, should be okay. Just have two soldiers standing at the front door, uh, both taking snapshots, shooting them down, should go pretty okay. I'm not too worried about it. There he is though, he is, he is very much there. Nobody's just, nobody's reacting though, to be kind of expected of rookies. As far as I can tell, uh, as far as reactions go, it works a bit like, um, like rolling a die. When they see an alien, there's a chance that they'll react, and uh, if they pass, like if the, if the roll succeeds and, and they shoot, that improves their reactions. So just over time, watching an alien, eventually you'll pass the check and you'll take a shot at him, and then the skill will go up and it's easier in the future. Uh, bravery works kind of the same way. While your bravery is low, every time you don't panic or go berserk, improves your skill a little bit. So just eventually, after so long of, uh... There you go. Eventually, after so long of seeing aliens move and stuff like that, you just eventually get a little better at killing them. You know what, let's do this, uh, like, next turn or something. In case that happened. Wow! Nice. Reaction fire, finally. His reactions went up. The other guy who was doing reactions, his reaction is way up as well. Two live aliens, because apparently the Sonic Cannon does not kill them as quickly as I thought. So, yay! I think our alien sub, or the, the sub container is full by now. We've gotten quite a bit of lobster men. Like, quite a bit. Do they sell well at all, being alive? Or can I even sell them when they're alive? I, I don't think I can. Oh well, we do have 11 corpses though, so let's sell those off. Nice! Okie dokie. Should have a terror mission coming. That might be it. Uh, large heading east. This place saw it. Looks like he's heading toward Africa, so let's keep an eye on that. I'm thinking that might be our terror mission. There it is. Attack on Lisbon. Found him. Equip the Triton. Make sure everything is fine and dandy here. Looks good. I think we're full up on equipment anyway. Now, it is a terror mission, and a lot of the times I know aliens try to capture people. Uh, this mission may be just to look ex make XCOM look bad, so they're probably just going to start killing off civilians, but there is a chance that they're just going to uh, try to capture as many civilians as possible, meaning a lot of them are going to be equipped with the thermal shock launchers. And if that's the case, then... Uh, I can probably use that to my advantage. Oh, please beat the darkness. Oh my god, I hope it's daytime. I think we're lucky. Ugh, I beat it in like 30 minutes. Ugh. It might be just a little dark, but better than pitch blackness, I think. I don't even know. We're on the south corner, which is fine. This is the more annoying part to fight. UFOs. Oh god, that means that it's... uh. Lobster men. Oh joy. UFOs are pretty terrible. They're usually really good at reacting and uh, phenomenal accuracy, and they explode when they die unless you take them out with. Um... Oh yeah, we can't fly on land. Unless you take them out with a stun weapon, they explode like that, killing everybody nearby. Pretty friggin' terrifying, really. And not being able to fly is a pretty large minus of this. It's okay. We're pretty well armored. So, hopefully... Yeah, okay. It looked like we were in this corner, and I was like, that's really odd having the fence here, then. 
but that's fine. This is the my this is my favorite spot to spawn, especially on terror missions of this type, because this fence area is the worst. That's a lot of civilian deaths. Oh my god. Ah, uh, they're definitely here to kill. Uh, this is the worst spot to try to clear off because there's so much debris in the way and it's such a narrow area. But um, I'm thinking spawning on the side is a terrific thing because then that means that we can use the fence area uh, as cover and take out that large building because it should lead us to that large building. The, the one with multiple floors that I absolutely hate clearing and is a pain in the arse every time I try to do it. Should be able to get there with get to there with relative ease. I very much like to kill this UFO before it causes havoc. Eh. And there goes the stairs. Hope I didn't need those. Would love to fly. Can't fly it though. Not here. Only underwater. I think all the civilians died that first turn. That was like four or five, whoop, four or five screams. I think that may have actually been the fifth scream that I've heard. Manfred, chill out there. Michelle's right behind you. I'm just breathing in people's names. Uh, Rudy, wasn't Rudy that, uh, that tiny football player in that movie called Rudy? I think that was it. Oh, and we see a lobster man up there, where I blew the stairs apart. Look out! Oh, look out! Uh. Whoa, really? Wow! Intriguing. That's a lot of aliens. Oh, nope, never mind. Flory, false alarm. Okie dokie then, now that I know that there's like a million lobsters over here. It's like their spawning ground. Ugh. Hopefully I don't need the uh, the people in rags out there, but we'll find out. Don't think? Oh wow, you can. Nice. Right in the crotch. Good work. And your back is kind of... Well, your side is kind of turned to them. Uh... Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The side is like the weakest part of this armor. It's its, it's flaw. Uh, Under armor is by far the worst, but we're on the same level, so hopefully it won't matter too much. Man! We're doing fairly well with these uh, shots. I'm impressed. Carlos. And this fella... Maybe... Oh no, you're way up there. Okay, never mind. Next turn, we'll get him. Wrap around the train. We've killed four aliens so far. I'm trying to keep a head count. There's that guy on the roof. Wah, right in the back. And there's a the reaction fire. Tell you, man, that reaction fire, you can't kill him in one hit. There's nothing you can do about it. That's why I can't stand fighting lobster men. It like, always takes two hits, and they almost always do reaction fire. Oh. You missed. Probably could have done an aim shot. Amanda can. Somebody hit him. There we go. We've been doing so well with accuracy. Ah, unfortunately someone died. It's okay. It happens, especially on terror missions. These are, if any mission, these are the ones that I would prefer to lose people on because they're just... Ugh, they're so insane. Well, bases, I guess. I'd expect to lose just about my entire squad on a base. Or those cruise liners. Those are just... Mm. 
Nightmarish. Take this, but double the amount of aliens and add two floors. Ugh. 